Well, I'm checking in to check it out. So um, today, quickly going to quickly going to talk about um, how how evil prospers, and you know, yeah, pretty much how e how evil usually always prospers, no matter what. Now, anyone who, anyone who knows a little bit of history, you know, just to, all we got to do is look back in time. Not even too far away, not, not even too long ago. And, and we can and we can see that evil prospers. Evil will always prosper over the good. Evil will always overshadow the good. Yes, there's good out there, but you'll always be overshadowed by the evil because a lot of people work by a code. And <clears throat> And what I mean by code is, let's just take for example, I'm looking at, I'll, I'll explain two ways now. Let's look at the example of the world today we live in now, okay? Now, basically the people who won the show, who pretty much won most of the rulings around the world, are the society of Jesus, okay? The Jesuits, all right? And they've been, they've been, the Jesuit order have been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. And, and these are not, these are not good people. These are evil, sick people, right? And their ruling, their rulings and their practices are basically from, I can't remember what date it was. I really, I should have, I should have told you what date it was. In fact, I might be able to dig it up right now. And you see when the when the, uh, when the society of Jesus was formed. I'm sure it was like in the 1500s. I can't remember. Yeah, 27th of September, 1540. Okay. Now, these people have been around running the show for since then. Yeah, pretty much up until now. All the stuff what you see going in the world now. Yeah, all the stuff. All, especially since March 2020, when people's eyes really started to open. Right, these people have been, these people have been running the show since then, okay? And they've been implementing their evil, sick plans. Right? And. And basically, their, their main goal for today's society is to decrease um, is to is to decrease the the society, the people. Okay, depop. I don't really, I don't really, I don't want to want to, I don't want to say the word, but they want to depop. Okay, that's their that's their function. That's their aim. The depop. Okay. And um, they've, they've pretty much succeeded. They've pretty much succeeded, and they're, and they're going to, they are going to succeed in their plan, because there's too many people who are asleep at the wheel, and don't know what's going on. Okay, so again, you will prosper. Now, so I'm talking to you about evil on a big grand scale. All right. Not just the average man on the street. I'm talking to you at, um, at, 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 a big, at a big scale here. And let, let's um, let's go away from that a second. Let's bring it back down to more of a reality. Not, not reality. Let's bring it more home, more closer to home. And what do we see? We see people out here shitting on people constantly. Whether it's people in higher positions, they'll they'll shit on the people below. Um, for example, you got people who you know people who own Walmart, Tesco, 
Royal Mail, right? These people are, are they're always in a profit, okay? And they will get rid of people to, line, to keep lying in their pockets, even though their pockets don't need to be lined, okay? They'll keep getting rid of people, to keep shitting on people, destroying lives, destroying households, okay? So again, another example of how, how evil prospers in the world today. You know? Because it's only, it's only the very rich and wealthy. The very rich and wealthy don't give a fuck about anybody else. As simple as that. They'll happily see you die, don't give a fuck, okay? Now, let's bring it down a little, let's bring it down a, a, a peg more. Let's bring it down a little bit more closer to home, even more closer home now. For example, an uncle, an uncle of mine, right? An uncle of mine, ever since I was, ever since I was old enough to know, ever since I was old enough to like know who my uncle was, like, so let's say I'm a, I'm a toddler, upwards. This guy was been on crack cocaine. He's been on crack cocaine, yeah? Destroying lives, causing stress to our family. The, the dude robbed my fucking bike that I got for my birthday, my brand new little BMX bike. I was only about five years old. He robbed it. He rubbed it and he sold it for crack, okay? So he, he, he had an effect on my life early on, okay? Never mind, forget forget about anybody else. Must have, he had an effect on me that early. And obviously I used to see the fuck through what used to happen. The police used to come to my nan's, my nan's house, yeah? Because at that time, my nan, my nan had a six bedroom house and you know, some of their kids were still staying there. Like my mum lived there for a period of time. And my, one of my aunties and one of my uncles. And like, he used to bring so much drama to the household. Cause my nan, he used to cause my nan so much stress. So much stress, it was unbelievable, man. Yeah? And my, na my nan wasn't, my nan wasn't, um, I wanna was, was say she was in the best of shapes. She was, she was, she was slightly overweight. But you know, she was she was on blood pressure medication, pills, all that kind of thing, right? And he got this fucking dickhead, right? This dickhead of a man. Yeah, her son, yeah. Causing her constant stress for decades, yeah? Right? And my nan is not here no more, okay? She had dementia, what turned into Alzheimer's and now she's gone, okay? So she she was she's pretty she's been she she was in a pretty much vegeta she was in a vegeta vegetative I can't say it. she was in a a vegetative a vegetative state for quite a long period of time. And when I say a long period of time, I'm talking like about probably about a good 10 to 12 maybe about 10 years yeah she, she had to go to a home she, she pretty much couldn't speak talking for that okay but obviously what but what i'm saying is but prior to that the chain of events prior to that she had multiple she had multiple like mini strokes whatever you know whatever it is she had multiple, multiple strokes then she had dementia and then alzheimer's okay and and we we know we know what what a big what a big contributor to having these strokes are, okay? Like my, my nan, like even though she was slightly overweight, my nan used to pretty much walk anywhere. She would walk anywhere, she would walk, pretty much walk everywhere. Obviously she would catch a bus if you long journeys, but she, she was pretty much kind of fit because she'd be out walking, to get shopping, walking, or you know, she's always walking somewhere, okay? She's very independent as well. And um, yeah, she had multiple strokes that we didn't know at the time. But this shit was caused, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much certain it was caused by this fucking crackhead uncle of mine, yeah? Because I seen the stress why he put my hand through when I, was, when, I was, when I was growing up as a kid. I seen, the, I seen it. So, and that, is, you know, that, that used to make me uncomfortable. So I can only imagine how, 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 how fucked up it made my nan. So I'm fucking, so, so basically, and, and it's not, 
just me thinking this it's my uh, some some of my aunties as well they they believe that part of my nan pretty much my nan's demise was due to this fucking crackhead or the stress he put on the family this evil fucking cunt yeah that's what he is right and she, my nan's gone now she died a couple of years ago right and um uh, and guess what this fucker is still around now he, he's off the crack now he's off the crack now but he's only been off the crack for about again not, not, not too long probably about a decade maybe less than a decade i can't i don't know the, the, the real timeline like that. i don't know but he's obviously he's off it now so this fucker right this fucker pretty much caused my nan's death or pre premature death yeah because he's because he's fucking addiction to crack yeah and he's still he gets to still fucking walk around he still gets to fucking still he, he's still walking around yeah Going on like, like going on like, like like without care in the fucking world. Yeah. Without, without a care in the world. And it and it and it, and it, and it makes me laugh how how some of my aunties and my uncles, right? They're still like they still kind of have time for this guy. Like they're still pick him up sometimes and bring him around, you know, like let's say he doesn't have for Christmas, stuff like that. They'll still do stuff. I'm thinking, what the fuck, bro? Leave this fucking cut, bro. This guy is a be he's been nothing but a leech to the family, bro. Taking my mum, mum used to give him money to help him out and all this bullshit all the time. Yeah, everyone used to run. Why is everyone running around after this fucking crackhead for get fucked, man? But what, what I'm saying is, what's, what's got me real mad is that this guy's still walking around now. Why the fuck is he still here? Hmm? Why is it? Why is this evil fucking cunt still here? What? Why is he still here? This what gets me mad. And you know, it's, it's some people might ask, do, do I still speak to him? I don't. If I see him, I don't speak to him like that. Like, pretty much after my nan passed, that's when I really started to get like real mad inside. Um, <clears throat> like I'm pretty much just civil with you know. If, if I see him at my nan's or whatever, no, not my nan's. If I see my, if I see him at my aunties, um. If I see my eyes, I'll, you know, you know, I'll just be civil, you know, just be civil. But like, if I was to see him now, like, put it this way, I would, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I would not be in the same vicinity as this guy. Like, let's say there's another family event going on something like that, yeah, and um, and I know he's coming. I'll make sure I won't be there because if I'm gonna be there, he's gonna fucking know about it. Shit will go off. Yeah, because, you know, I'm a grown man now. Um, you know, I'm a grown man now. This guy is 60 years old. You know, he can't tell me nothing now. And all this, all, all, all this feeling in the world, all these feelings, yeah, all, all these feelings and thoughts over the years now, I find that they've, they've built up, they've built up inside of me now to the point where I cannot stand this guy. I pretty much hate, I pretty much fucking hate the fucker, yeah. For, for my nan's demise Hate the cunt So It's best off that I don't be around the cunt Okay But anyway This is what I'm trying to say about evil prospers bro Why is he still here? Hmm Why like, Why is he still here man? <sighs> why is this fucking cunt still here? I mean, see all the time, I mean, and you know, again, as, as explained in the video, like, you know, a lot of evil in the world, people, these, a lot of evil people are still out and about prospering. I don't understand how that works. Well, in a way, I do, because, like I said, this is, this is something what I've learned. I've learned, I've learned that evil prospers. And that's just a that's just the sad reality of life. Evil does prosper. Evil does prosper. 
But anyway, that's what I wanted to say, pretty much. That evil does prosper, and um, and that's just the world we live in, unfortunately. So, man. Um,